In the world of physics, inertia is a pretty simple idea, but it's really important. All objects have inertia, and it means that they won't start moving unless something pushes or pulls on them. It also means that objects that are already moving won't stop unless they're pushed or pulled on. There are a lot of ways that you can learn about inertia, but I think this one is especially fun. Gravity goo is made of a chemical called polyethylene oxide. When you mix it with water, it'll turn into something that looks like slime. But if you had a powerful microscope, you would see that it's made of tiny pieces connected together in long chains. First, fill one of your cups with about eight ounces of water. Then add about a teaspoon of the gravity goo powder into the other cup. That was not the full packet, by the way. It was like half of it. Next, pour the water into the goo to mix things up. Keep pouring the mixture back and forth from one cup to another. You should do this for about two to three minutes or until you see some stringy goop starting to form. Oh, it's getting stringy. It happens fast. Then, after you uh, feel fairly stringy about the whole process, let it sit for about 40 minutes. While you wait, you could try another one of our experiments or go learn more about inertia. I'm going to make that time pass instantly using the magic of movies. Now it's time for the fun part. Start pouring your gravity goo out from one cup to another. But this time, things should be a little different. You should only need to give your cup a little bit of a tilt. Then the goo should pull itself out of the cup. Oh God, that's awesome! It yanks on itself! If it's too goopy, you might have put too much of your gravity goo mix in, so you might want to try it again with less goop. This mainly happens because of inertia. Once some of the goo fell out of the cup, it kept pulling on itself until everything was in the second cup. In other words, once the goo started moving, it kept moving because there wasn't anything to really slow it down. When you're all done with this experiment, throw your gravity goo away in the trash can, not in the toilet or sink. It could clog things up down there, and nobody wants that.